All right, welcome back to the 18783 Cafe. Um, the purpose of this video is just to help you get oriented for problem set five, problem one. So I have in my hands here a Rubik's Pi, also sometimes known as a barrel cube or a three by three by two Rubik's cube. Um, it has two faces, a front face, which on this cube is black in the pictures in the problem set, it's white. And then a back face, which is yellow. That's consistent with the problem set. And then it has four colors along the edges. Um, on this cube, they get run as in the problem set, blue, orange, red, green, which you can remember by the acronym Borg, blue, orange, red, green. And we say the cube, a solved cube is in its standard configuration if it's as I'm holding it here with the blue and what in the problem set would be a white edge in the upper left front. So this is the upper edge, this is the left edge, this is the right edge, and this is the front edge. Oops, and I just lost a puzzle piece there. This cube is broken. In a normal year, I would give you each a, your own Rubik's pie to play with as you work on this problem. Um, in this pandemic year, I'm not able to do that, um, both for two reasons. It's difficult to find these anymore. It's hard to buy them. I haven't been able to find a replacement for this one, and it would be problematic shipping them all to you. So you're gonna have to make do with this virtual Rubik's pie, which I now gift to you. Okay, and since you can't actually hold it, I'm gonna show you how it works and explain the notation in the problem set. So each of the two faces has nine um, components, but the center component, the centerpiece here never moves. So we may as well disregard it. So there are really only 18 pieces and eight of those pieces are corner pieces. They look like these, this little wedge here. And the other eight are edge pieces or side pieces, these rectangular shaped pieces here. And there are seven moves that we can execute on this cube. So the first move, which is denoted with a lowercase b, is to rotate the back edge, that's the, or the bottom edge, a quarter turn clockwise, so like this. The next move, which is denoted with a lowercase f, is to, to do the opposite, to rotate the back face a quarter turn counterclockwise. And you might wonder, why is it denoted with an f if I'm rotating the back face? Well, if I had rotated the front face a quarter turn clockwise, that would be the same as rotating the back face a quarter turn counterclockwise. Okay. So without loss of generality, because we don't care about orientation, we could assume I always sort of keep the front face fixed. OK, so we have. Uh, quarter turn clockwise and counterclockwise of the back face. We could also rotate the back face 180 degrees. And that move is denoted with a capital B. So now I would have green and orange lining up instead of orange. Okay, so those are the three moves that move the back face, either 90 degrees, 270, 180. And then there are four moves that rotate the four edge, the four side faces. So the up with a lowercase u is 180 degree rotation of the up edge. Yeah. Uh, lowercase d is 100 degree, 80 degree rotation of the down edge. Lowercase r is the right. And lowercase l is the left. OK. And so your goal in this problem is to implement an optimal algorithm for solving this cube, no matter how it's been scrambled up, and returning it to a solved configuration. And they're actually, since we're not gonna distinguish between, we're gonna assume that this face, the, what's white in the problem set and black here is always facing us, but there's still four different rotations it could be in. And it doesn't matter which of those four rotations, positions you return it to, we'll say it's solved if you wind up like this, or like this, or like this, or like this, okay? But it'll be convenient if you want to, to um, test your code on a specific sequence of moves to think about the standard configuration, which is used and referred to in the problem set as this one, where I have blue in the um, upper left and orange in the upper right. Okay, that's it. Good luck. Enjoy the problem.